Summer of 2018 looked to be really busy. Had a lot of trips planned, including a mission trip to the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and ending the summer with a 30th anniversary trip for my husband and myself. It was two days before I left for the Congo that my family doctor called and said there was a suspicious spot on my mammogram and they wanted another test. So I went to the Congo, came back and had those scheduled. And all of a sudden, the summer got filled with ultrasounds and MRIs and biopsies and oncologist appointments. Every one of them seemed to get more scary. It was the morning we left for our 30th anniversary trip at the end of August that I was scheduling additional biopsies and I also called the James to schedule a second opinion. When I learned I had cancer, there was only one place that I wanted to go, and that was the James, by its reputation. And it was their insistence on some additional tests, not only of my initial biopsy, but then a test that they ordered on the tumor that was removed at surgery here in Dayton. Those were the game changers, um, because it took away the HER2 status, um, but then I also had an Oncotype score which turned out very low, meant that chemo was unnecessary and was also one of the criteria then that made me eligible for um, the accelerated partial breast radiation. It wasn't until I went to the James that I got a confidence in how it was gonna become okay. And that confidence in the science-backed care, um, the amazing staff, that's made all the difference. Just about a week ago, saw my surgeon and got a clean bill of health from my surgeon. And so at this point, it's a daily regimen of one little yellow pill in the morning and making sure that I take care of myself. This is the only body that I'm going to have to do ministry with. And so I intend to do that for a long time.